WFNN. Headline News Update. Everyone, Basil Chapman here for the 11 a.m. Tiger Financial News Network market update. And we're looking at the Dow giving back quite a bit, giving back over half of yesterday's gain sometime uh, the, today already. It's at 34,302, uh, down 291. But the S&P is holding way better. In fact, <clears throat> the Dow, which was a leader, is now taking a bit of a breather. Very nice. The S&P is down just two at 4,077, having made a new recovery high. It's trying. It's still got Friday to go for the weekly chart, but it's trying desperately to break that resistance level. We've seen it occur uh, back in August. We saw it back in April. It got repelled at this inside track repellent line. We'll see if it's able to break through. Looking at the QQQ, it is broken through, and that's really important. It doesn't even have to hold there. As long as it's broken through once, that's a good sign. It's best if it's able for the following week to have a follow-through up session, and right now it's up 48 cents at 293.92. Uh, a little toppy in the daily chart, but looking pretty good. IWM Russell 2000 is trading. Uh, let's see, it's up five cents at 187.42 after yesterday's huge gain. This is good, but it's stuck at that 200 period moving average resistance. We're looking at gold. Has it given back a little bit yet? Yeah, it's given back just a little. That is a spectacular move. Still spectacular. Up 50 at 18.10. Nicely above the 200 uh, period moving average of 1789. That makes it key support in the shorter term. Weekly chart finally got to a leg B. We're looking at uh, crude oil. Crude oil had a good move up uh, for the last four sessions. Green candles. Uh, very nice move to the 8269 level, up 2.14. The uh, 200 period moving average, which has been a fulcrum going up and going down at 84, is going to be the target on the upside if it's able to break out. Looking at the um, Looking at the TLT, that is the bonds, very nice move up. And we were looking earlier at the 10-year uh, yield coming down. This is good action, up 88 cents at 103.61. Dollar uh, gave back a huge amount. Uh, it's coming uh, off the low, but wow, it went under the 200 period moving average. It's down a dollar at 105.05. So with that said, um, this is going to be a, a consolidation day after yesterday. What happens tomorrow into Tuesday is going to be absolutely imperative to monitor. Stay tuned. You've got great programming for the rest of the day. Don't forget, Tommy uh, Jr. starts us off at 9 a.m. with the morning market kickoff. Fabulous show. Covers the fundamentals together with the technicals. Really good program. And, of course, we've got great programming coming up. Stay tuned. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Check out my opening call daily newsletter.